for the day, and I'm here with uh, Buddy Velestro. Uh, kick boss! <laughs> that is. He's and the where, kick did, boss. where did Chupa uh, run off to? He saw a suspicious character wearing a raincoat outside, and he went to go have words with him. Oh, that sounds ominous. That's what I thought, Scott Ackerman. Ackerman. Um, Hello. <laughs> Well, we are here. Uh, it's Comedy Death Ray, cr- special Christmas show. We're just, uh, whoever wants to drop by is dropping by and, you know, just pretty much. Oh, oh, my oh God, what a loud. That is oh, extremely somebody's loud. Somebody's dropping by, I think. That's, some, that's a loud knock. Ooh, gosh. Maybe a giant. Who is Some it? sort of who goblin. Hello? Come on in. Who, who is Hello? that there? Hello. How you doing? Good. Uh, are you a neighbor of mine, sir? Who are you? Yes, I'm a neighbor of yours. I was wondering what was going on in here. I'm sorry, Scott. I let him in. Oh, Bob's here. I've been sleeping in your foyer underneath the boot-changing bench. <laughs> it's a little rustic here, yeah. I have a boot-changing bench. You uh, just use that for changing boots? Yeah, that's its only use. Good for you. Uh, this is... Let me just explain, Colin. Yeah. Uh, Bob uh, Duca here is my ex-stepfather. Devoted ex-stepfather. He was married to my mother for... Oh, seven um, glorious months. Wow. When I was 33, I believe. And, uh... That's- not awkward. No, it's not awkward. He keeps popping back up in my life. Not awkward. No, I'm, I'm sorry. When we when you invited me over here, you told me that, that we were going to see your family. That's right. I don't think this that this a, necessarily ap- qualifies. The as apple your of my eye. I don't. This doesn't feel this like this is the only possible thing that could qualify. What did as you my say? Family. Did you say seven months? Seven months. Yeah, it, not a long time. You guys are not family. I'm sorry to tell you. <laughs> Wait. So Bob, you invited him. You've been sleeping under my my boot. Changing under your boot changing bench, and I'm sorry I didn't tell you before, but I didn't want to get caught. <laughs> and you, you took a stroll and met one of my neighbors, and in well, I was relieving myself in your bushes, and I saw this this uh, man who was looking around, and uh, yeah, I, I can saw, spot I, when a man wants to find fellowship. I thought something interesting was going on in those bushes. You know, turns out you were alone. That's not what I expected. I thought something hot was going on. Now, sir, you're wearing a large Something. trench coat. Yeah. Are, uh, huh? did, you're wearing a large trench coat. Buddy, it's raining. It's wet out. Oh. I, uh, Cake Boss, do you think this is the uh, yeah. the man that El Chupacabra went out to go? Uh... Well, no, because he's in here now. El Chupacabra is outside. It's very wet. Well, it's a four bread bag day. There was some guy, uh, some guy following me outside, and I kneecapped him. Oh, well, that's too bad. Oh, um, yeah, you're the first gentleman I've met who has one of those uh, retractable uh, uh, like beating daredevil weapons. canes. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. A yeah. lot of the people you meet who have those are not gentlemen, but I am one. <laughs> what is your name, sir? Again, Don Demello. Mm. How do you do, theatrical director? Oh, you, you're a director. That's right. Oh, Colin, uh, oh. here is an actor. Oh, are you? Yeah, I have no use for you. I uh okay. I direct annually the uh, Radio City Christmas Spectacular. Oh, That's in New York City. In New York City. Yeah, then you I we're not Unless you're a people. child or a fat Santa Claus or more importantly a beautiful gorgeous rocket. I'm only 50 hours away from being in the amateur usher guild. Huh? I seat people at plays. In exchange for free shows. How many hours do you need to be in the amateur Russia guild? They keep raising it. Jeez. I was not aware of this, any of this. Amateurs. What do you need to be a pro at it? Well, I, uh, I, 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 I have a, a, a pen light that I'm able to see tickets in, and uh, I have um, my depth perception is such that I also am able to walk downstairs now. Oh, you and got so that I, fixed. Oh, yep. Congratulations. What happened? Uh, I, I, my, apparently it wasn't... Uh, the trajectory of my eyeballs wasn't uh, right. The arc that right. the cornea formed, right, right, and I wasn't looking down. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. You got to look. Threw off the depth perception. Right, that's been fixed though. Yes, it's been fixed. Yes, um, there's some I'm, water right in front of you. By the way, feel free to. Huh? There's some water, oh, a it's glass of water right in front of you. Very far away. Uh, depth perception <laughs> is very important for the rockets. It's one of the things that we test them for. We throw things at them, and we see if they can deflect it. We, they deflect it? How? Yeah, we throw balls at them. We run the girls through a lot of different tests. Ugh. A lot. Because all, a lot of girls want to be rockets. And uh, Would these... you like to borrow my kerchief for that saliva coming out of your mouth? 
Sure, that'd be great, yes. <laughs> I have been told I'm a bit of a drooler. That's a good, uh, that's... That's some good ushering. You know, I I, yeah. I know uh, some dinner theater uh, people that are are always looking. Okay. For uh, uh, do you have any uh, uh, table waiting experience? Um. No. Well, I I was uh, I used to be the guy who cracked an egg in a genuine Caesar salad. That okay? <laughs> they hired you just for that? Uh huh. Well, I guess with the depth depth perception, he wouldn't be handling yeah. cutlery and, and, yeah. and things of that no. nature. That sounds like a bowl of salmonella. Well, it, well, <laughs> no, I'll, I'll see what I can do for your. Yeah, that would be that really, would be really nice to get him out of my hair. I love the like, theater. I, I think know. you three should team up. I mean, you have. Okay. Uh, no, <laughs> well, you're I, really I, quick to agree. I. I mean, I you're know. an actor, you're a director, you're an I usher. Will, and I'm free. You know, this mm-hmm. is like a new Enigma Force 5. This is, you know, a, a dream team of, you know, I mean, what what could you guys call yourselves? Uh, let's see. Ush director. Uh, that's, uh, that's really good, but maybe we can improve upon it. I don't <laughs> want any part of this dream team. There's no girls on it, no beautiful girls. Yeah. You know, geez, how about the pretty. pod dwellers? Because we're three peas. In this in a pad in this podcast, no. What is that? Bob doesn't know what a podcast is. He <laughs> oh. he he barely knows he's being recorded. Oh oh okay. Do you, you do know that this has gone out to several people and people have, have listened to these several uh, appearances, people. these appearances you've made. Several, several w- people across several people. Yeah. The which ones on the interwebs? The, every time you drop by, is it the volume of my voice that's a problem? There is, no, there is no problem. <laughs> we haven't s- established there's a problem. Oh. What are you talking about? Okay. So, uh, Don, Don's your name? Don DeMello, theatrical <laughs> director. <laughs> Don, tell, tell me a little bit about that show. It is the Christmas show here. Sure, I would love to terrific. hear. Oh, How long boy. have you been doing it? I've been doing the Christmas show now 18 years. This wow. is my 18th year directing the Christmas show. Before that, I was directing an all-nude review in Midtown for several years before that. And then uh, some of the girls I knew there were between 5'6 and 5'10, and that's what you got to be to be a Rockette. They graduated to the Rockettes, and I went with them. Yeah, wow, they dragged you along. Huh? Gorgeous, 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 gorgeous girls. <laughs> what is the uh, turnaround for uh, said gorgeous girls? How many years? How many years can you be a rock be a before rockhead? you burn out and fade away? Oh, if you're sweet, if you stay sweet, you can stay in the show for several years. I don't see, see that happening. By that. You I really don't see sweet. that happening. You can't what? stop making demands. You can't stop putting your foot down. You got to be real nice and sweet. You gotta be a nice girl. We're looking for nice girls. You gotta keep your body nice. <laughs> wow. You uh, gotta keep those legs <laughs> real nice. You are, oh, it's all about the legs. You are a disgusting <laughs> the human are, being, seemingly. It's, uh, uh, May I ask not how unlike old? some of my directors uh, before. Really? You, yeah, you, you come is, across this, is, the casting is, couch? It is common, yeah. Oh, it's a common tale. Sure. You guys ever see the Christmas show? It's real terrific. Yeah, the girls come out and they do those high kicks and those legs are going up in the air. Beautiful, beautiful. I tried leg. to watch the Rockettes once, but the uh, kicking line induced a seizure. Oh, I'm so sorry for you. Oh, I enjoyed it, but they you asked did. me not to return. Oh yeah, That's we can't have that. It's distracting because there's a lot of kids in the audience. Because they want to see the Santa Claus and the camel and the live nativity. And, you know, that's all fine. But for the daddies out there. Oh, that was another thing. That's why we have the girls. The camel bit my cheek. Yeah. Oh, sure. That happens. Is that a common? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sure. Well, you know, there have been several times where the animals have attacked the baby Jesus. And we just go, I'm standing in the booth. I go, blackout. We got an animal attacking the baby Jesus. Blackout. And do they give you a blackout? Sure. They, well, they're like a hair finger on that. It happens so frequently. Yeah. They're ready for it. And is there an understudy? An understudy for what? For the baby Jesus? Yeah. Yeah, we've got six or seven babies back there. Oh, really? well, that's yeah. good. A lot of babies. I mean, they've got a big budget. So is it true that, that you yeah. coat the nativity babies in camel sugar before the show starts? Well, this has turned into an inquisition of sorts. That's never been found to be true. And why would we want the camels to eat the babies? I mean, for crying out loud. Why would you, you want that the camels to eat the babies? doesn't make for compelling theater? Well, I mean, look. Sure it does. I mean, I'll, I'll concede that. 
I was at West Side Story across the street just now, and when uh, one of the dancers dropped oh, yeah. another dancer, the the jolt of electricity that ran through the audience, like they were seeing something live and real. That's yeah. what you're after. That well, was my argument you know. for when I had a seizure. I said that I could. Ra- I I said, listen, I don't know if you remember this. I said. I- just about anything can give me a seizure. I can do this on demand, and I guarantee your guests a very memorable experience. I wouldn't mind that, you know what, having a Santa Claus. If you could, if you, if you looked a little more like Santa Claus, getting you in a Santa Claus suit and having you have a seizure in front of all the children like that. Uh-huh. And then, because you know what, this is the thing. If anything goes wrong in the show, mm-hmm. we bring out the girls. Anything goes wrong, we say cue the May girls. May I ask how old those sweatpants are that you're wearing? Oh, I didn't even notice the sweatpants. These are my lucky sweatpants. I wear them every Christmas season throughout the entire run of the show. I didn't realize Carhartt made sweatpants. Yeah, these are work sweatpants. I think those... 18 years. Those have just been, I think... I, I think they're just very soft work pants. Yes. I think they just certainly you wash them in the off season. It doesn't look like he does. No, because they're they're building up luck every year. Yeah. You better hope you don't get PE teacher leg in those sweats. What's that now? Uh, it's a rash. It's a fungal fungal based rash that a lot of physical education teachers get from wearing the same pair of sweatpants. We had a girl who got a rash on her legs. I says, "Get the fuck out." We don't need you with your. <laughs> Horrible, rashy legs. This show is all about legs. All about legs. And what was that? What was that dancer's name? Her name was Irene. And as far as I know, she's dead. <laughs> I don't give a crap about her. I says, your fault for getting a rash. Get out. Yeah, it's a tough business. Broadway is very, very, very difficult. Oh, it's really tough. Yeah, absolutely. You got to keep your body nice. You got to stay sweet. Got to keep those legs real nice. I don't want any back talk. No back talk. Kill the girls. No. And blackout. I don't think... Do you think he... I don't think he realizes there, there are no girls here at the, the podcast. Yeah, I, there are no women uh, here yet. That's a real problem. I could get you a bunch of girls. Could you? Sure, I could. I could get... We got... We got look, here's how it works. We got... 80 girls at all times ready for the show. Oh, we only need 36 on stage at a time. That means we got all these girls in a holding pen with the other babies backstage. And the extra camel. And the extra camel sugar. And you, they, they, they got a bucket of camel sugar and a couple of goats, swing goats, we call the, them. the camel sugar now. Yeah, he admits we got it. We, we, could we drag yeah. that out of him? Yeah, this is like a great courtroom drama. <laughs> this is. We... And we got we got you into cross examination. <laughs> All right, look, I get, yeah, sure. Occasionally, it's nice when things go wrong in the show, so you just can bring out the girls. <laughs> and I don't care what goes wrong. <laughs> Some do I plant things to happen in the show that are mishaps so we can bring out the girls every once in a while? Sure, I do. I've, as a matter of fact, I've never seen that show not have a mishap in it. And well, hey, then thank you very much. That's me doing my job. Do I sometimes make sure the guy doing Santa Claus eats something that's going to make him double over in gas pains? So I can say, bring out the girls. <laughs> sure. I mean, I I don't know. I've never really seen it. But is the show different every... Is it different year to year? A little bit. Can you talk more about gas pains? <laughs> oh, sure, yeah. <laughs> now we're in Bob's field of expertise. You know, once we, when we hire a Santa Claus, you know, I just get to know him. But really what I'm trying to do is find out his weaknesses uh-huh. so that I could, you know, uh, if he tells me how oh, I got a terrible sensitivity to gluten, I'll make sure he has some gluten. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Right before the show. So he sure. goes out there and he's incapacitated and we get to bring out the girl. Bring out the girl. I'm right, I'm right here, sir. You don't need to get so close to me. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, that's what I do. Wow, you sound like a... Terribly disgusting human being. So you you have connections to the entertainment industry. I know there's several people here. There's some things on my Christmas list that I'm oh I I'm would wondering if.